We used to have a very simplistic understanding of cancer, but now we understand that it's much more complex. And even within two patients that have exactly the same tumor type, the underlying biology might be quite different. It underscores the importance of personalized medicine as we develop targeted therapeutics for patients. We're working in cancer, and the goal was to target a specific protein called BRAF and block this protein from functioning in cells. BRAF is a kinase, which is a protein that turns on signaling pathways that drive proliferation in tumor cells. And what you would expect from blocking this kinase with an inhibitor is that it would block its function in any cell that has that pathway on. And we were seeing that. But what was paradoxical was it really depended on what cell type or tumor type you went in. In the context of cells that harbor mutations in BRAF, we were able to block the growth of the tumors. But to our surprise, in cells where BRAF was wild type, not mutated, it looked like it was the exact opposite effect. You're actually inducing growth. One of the first experiments that got me amazed was that you find that the protein is a hundredfold more active now that you added the inhibitor. And it just seemed odd to us. Why would you block the pathway and block growth of cancer cells in one setting, but induce the growth of cells in a different setting? There's nobody in the field that had reported something like this before. Yes, so we're very intrigued by it, and we knew we had to get to the bottom of it. And so we turned to our collaborators across organizations and across departments to help us decipher the mechanism. What we discovered was this. The kinase is like a lock. It's a complicated lock that needs a special key that you can turn many different ways, and you can't really control the lock. That's the tumor that you're trying to target. But you can control the key, the inhibitor being the key, that causes a series of events to happen. The lock itself can be slightly different in different tumors. And so with the same inhibitor that you could put in the mutant lock and shut it down completely, in the wild type situation, you're kind of jamming it in a certain position that keeps it open and then you cannot close it, basically, and then it has the opposite effect. So you have to look at each inhibitor, case by case. You need to design a different key for the wild type tumors and a different key for the mutant tumors. We think that applies to more kinases. This discovery made us both rethink how we would design and develop therapeutics for cancer. And it has huge implications both in how we do research at Genentech and broadly across the field. And the more information we have about the lock, then we can be smarter about designing the right key. And really strive to find the patients that will benefit the most so that our, our medicines can have the biggest impact. <laughs>